Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back home to more Let's Play Super Mario RPG! Today, we're finally going to go into Smithy's Domain. We, I just call it the Factory, or Smithy's Factory, but, uh, well, whatever you want to call it. I think it is called just the Factory in the save menu or something. Well, we'll find out today! Final dungeon time. Let's take a look at the setup here. Pretty straightforward. I like the attack scarf and the Troopa pen, mostly because they boost speed, and I don't want to let the enemies here get a turn on, on me if I can help it. So that would really help with that, because they got some pretty good speed there. Safety ring I also like, because uh, at least one of the enemies has an instant death attack, and I'd rather Peach not get killed by that. So I'm not going to use the Quartz Charm right now. I may decide to use it later, but not right now. So let's take a look around. Now, we got this little part here where you gotta jump on here and, whoa! Yeah, you gotta turn that bolt there. But if you fall off, you just get sent right back up to where you were. So, yeah, I did that on purpose, viewers. What do you mean you don't believe me? But anyway, yeah, just keep on jumping. There we go. First save point, nothing interesting so far. There we go, okay. There's something interesting. See, can I make it past him? Well, I want to fight him anyway, so. Okay, so new enemy here, Glum Reaper. These guys are the ones that I was telling you about who have that instant death attack. So you want to make sure you kill them before they can kill you. If you're really that worried about it though, like maybe you just don't have the speed or you don't have like the attack scarf, okay, then use the Quartz Charm because that could help protect against that too. Or Jinx Belt if you so choose. I prefer the safety ring myself. Yeah, I guess Peach isn't quite fast enough. But, oh well. I'd still rather have the safety ring on her than, like, a, something that boosts speed for her. But anyway, okay. Got another new enemy here. Amoeboid, who would be weak to fire, but has so little HP that I don't even need to time my hit right in order to kill it, <laughs> apparently. So, oh well. Oh, nuts. I mean, bolts. Sorry, I, I get them mixed up all the time. Try that one again there, Mario. Well, game? Damn 2.5D platforming. You can go either way, they'll both take you to the same place eventually. Okay, well, here we got another new enemy there. Hippopo! Uh, they are weak to thunder! So, I may decide to use Shocker on it. And, you know what? I'm going to. Thunderbolt just isn't going to be quite strong enough to one-shot it there. Wow, I was barely able to. Well, not barely, but it has 400 HP, so I was expecting to deal more to it. But Okay, well, that gets the job done. Oh, and by the way, I got the experience booster on Gino because, well, he has the least experience and he's in the reserves. Although, I'm going to stick with this party for the remainder of the game. Can I get over there and kill those guys? Yes, I can. All right, now after killing that guy, get another level there. So let's go for power there. As if you're not dealing enough damage with your symbols already. We got another new enemy here, Little Boo. Uh, let's see, they don't have any weakness there, and they're immune to jump, but they do have pretty tough physical defense. Hmm. But I gotta take out the Glum Reapers, because they can actually kill me. So, let's go start with that. Good job there. Oh! I think it'd be hilarious if these guys were called Little Boo Boo. Ow. Wow. I mean, wait a minute. Wow, look at that damage. Not bad for just the physical. But, alright, another level for Mario. Get some more power there, and... Oh, another level for Gino there, too. Go for more power there. Awesome. And we fall down. Yep. Hopefully it'll just take me back to where I was the northern platform. Yes, okay. 
Oh, they put the bolt there for me too, even though it wasn't there to begin with. Huh, how nice. And let's see. Okay, I don't need to fight all these guys. Yeah, they I think they spawn infinitely. Well. Well. But they do get pretty decent experience. Okay, guys. Come on, get over here. Oh, they don't spawn anything. Okay, I'll just kill them all then. It's amazing how much more difficult it is to run into those guys when I actually want to. To get the ult- Oh. No, that's not the ultimate. Hold on. There it is. The ultimate weapon in the game! The Ultra Hammer! Not the more ultimate than ultimate weapon. But, now it is a little weaker, but its damage is much more consistent than the Lazy Shell. And, you know what? I'm just gonna go for that. Just for a little bit of variety there. Besides, it's appropriate to have Mario on the hammer there. Uh, where does this thing go, anyway? Oh, right there, right. I was gonna try and jump on there directly. That's right. That's... Oh, I... Oh. No, this isn't that one. I was thinking I wanted to fall down there, but now, now that's, uh... I'm thinking of, uh, something else later on. There is one of these pitfalls where you actually do want to fall down because, well, it leads to some treasure. Haha! -ha. Where does this one go? Uh oh. Down again? Uh oh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I want to change any of my setup here? No, I think we're, we're gonna be pretty good. Huh? How's it going? Oh, I guess he's sounding the alarm for Smithy, huh? Well, I think it's wake-up time for you for boss time. Okay, so we got Countdown and the two Dinglings. Countdown is weak to jump and thunder! But I'm not going to use thunder on that. The uh, Dinglings are weak to ice, so I'm going to use Snowy on them. And, uh, let's see, it, uh, just defeating the clock itself uh, isn't going to be enough to uh, take out the dinglings with it. You might think it should, but it doesn't. Nuts. Ow! Uh-oh. What's it going to do at 1 o'clock? What happens at 1 o'clock? Nothing! Okay. Well, let's just keep on going with a good jump there. Basically, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to maximize the damage Mallow will deal with Snowy by leaving as many of them alive until I actually start wiping them out. Because obviously, if I kill one of the targets, I'm going to deal less total damage. So, let's just keep on spreading out the damage a little bit there. Uh-oh. Now, that can kill you. But I got lucky. It hit Peach. So, at least I think that's... Yeah, that is Fear Roulette. Uh, he has another attack called Doom Reverb, which actually doesn't afflict instant death. Which you might think it should, but it doesn't. So Doom Reverb, I, th I think, silences you, which would be annoying to have to deal with. Ha ha. Okay, well, kill the clock. Oh yeah, by the way, I accidentally hit my menu here, but uh, we, I got pick-me-ups like I was saying last time. So you want to watch out for that just in case Peach somehow dies, which she can. So I'm not completely invincible, just mostly. Uh-oh. Did... Oh. It's like, did he somehow revive himself? Yeah, there you go, Mario. Yeah, just like the other symbols, uh, time your attacks right before you uh, he crashes them together. With the uh, Ultra Hammer there, just like all the other hammers, when he has it, when he's holding it all the way back and he's just about to strike with it, that's when you time your hit there with that, and you feel some pretty good damage. Now we got a save point there if we need it, but we don't, and we're all refreshed after that fight, so let's keep on going on. This is not an extraordinarily long final dungeon. Whoa! These guys just spawn infinitely, but I'm gonna have to fight some of them anyway. Okay, never mind. But anyway, let's see. We got the 
Axum Rangers? Sort of. I guess I'm not fast enough for these guys. But anyway, I think that's Axum Black. And I think that's Axum Yellow. It's kind of hard, but they're basically clones of them. But fortunately, they're much weaker than they were before. Which I know is hard to imagine, but just take my word for it. Uh, Axum Black there is weak to Thunder, and Yellow is weak to Jump. So just a good Thunderbolt ought to get the job done. If I get a good timed hit, oh man, he has 200 HP. Or she, whatever gender yellow is. It interchanges from year to year from what I heard. I don't watch every season. But anyway, all right. So we get that, and up here, ha ha. Now let's see, I think this is the one where we want to fall down. Yes, okay, there we go. Go over here. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't really matter, but... Recovery mushroom, flower, yeah, I don't really care. But it's there, I just figured I'd show all the treasures we can get. Okay, watch out for this part. Just move over to that one. There we go. You can fight all the uh, Axum Rangers as uh, factory assembly lines or mass-produced varieties, but I'm not going to. I mean, if I run into them, Okay, great, but I'm not going to show off. I'm not going to go out of my way to show off everyone. Let's see, we got Mad Mallets and Jabbit. They are both weak to Thunder. So it uh, doesn't really matter which one we go after, I don't think. Let's see, Mad Mallet has a bit more HP. But other than that, yeah, they don't have much HP to begin with. Man, I'm having a hard time breaking 200 damage when I actually need to do so. Oh, well. But anyway, figured I'd show those guys off at least. Well, but anyway, now it's, oh, I was gonna say it's boss time, but I guess not, okay. Well, we got Springers here. Uh, let's see, nothing special about them. Pupax is weak to fire, so, you know, I might actually, oh. For some reason I thought it was Mallow's turn. I was gonna say, I might actually use uh, fire on Pupax, but no. Oh, well. Looks like I'm going to have to actually let him get a turn now. But anyway, let's see. I'm guessing that would put you to sleep? Yes, it does. Not that it really matters, because I can just kill him the next round anyway, but it's there. Let's see. Work around those guys. Ah, there we go. This is boss time! Okay, so we got... Machine Made Mac. They all have the same name, but I'm just going to call them by their original name. But anyway, just to use a good uh, Thunderbolt there. Mac is still weak to it. And the Shysters are still pretty weak. Although I think they're a little stronger than they were before in the original boss fight. Mac, I think, is a little weaker, though. I'd have to actually look up the stats. But anyway, okay, another level for you. We're almost at max level 30. I'm not going to go out of my way to get it, but if I do, it'd be nice. Okay, just press up to get there. If you fall off the conveyor belt, well, you'll fall off. And, but up here on these platforms, you can't fall off, I don't think. But anyway, okay, so we got a new enemy there, Dapple. Let's see, he is weak to nothing, but he is immune to jump. So let's take him out first. He does have quite a bit of HP, too. Let's do that. Let's take out Little Boo, because they don't have too much HP. Or they could just... Or you could just complete... Somebody hit the guy! Well, that's not going to do a whole lot, but... Oh, well. How hard can it be to hit a ghost, anyway? Oh, right. They're ghosts. Okay, I guess it does kind of make sense. But anyway, okay, Pupax, weak to fire! So let's use Fire Orb against him. Like I was going to do last time. That should be enough. He only has 300 HP. <laughs> okay. I guess that was a bit overkill. But when you need it, if you don't have it, you sing a different tune. 
That's what I always say. But, alright, easy enough. And, alright, another level there. So, let's see. Let's go for magic on this one. And, Gito, let's go for more power there if I ever decide to use you again. And up here. Oh, nice. Okay, now this part's going to be a little, whoa, a little tricky. So yeah, I'm going to have to keep on jumping a little bit here, I guess. Yeah, this part, going left, for some reason, is not as easy as going right. I don't know why. And let's see. Haha! Mushroom. Whoa. And I think... Oh, no, we're not there yet. Nuts. Uh-oh. More boss time! Against Boyer... Well, Machine Made Boyer himself. And he's actually not as much of a pushover as the other Machine Made guys. So he's got quite a bit of HP there. Uh, he has the most of all the machine-made enemies, I believe. So, and he has no weakness that we can really exploit either. So, uh, you know what? Let's just go with the physical now. I think we've softened him up enough. Yeah, we should be good. I would imagine he could use the same mechanics as he did before with those XYA buttons there, but I don't know. But anyway... Okay, so we took care of those guys. Get, get over there! Get over there! Okay, phew! Oh, we got a couple other ones. Okay. Uh, let's see. I don't know which ones these guys are. They're not black or yellow, so... Probably... Red, green, and pink, I'm guessing? I don't know. But anyway, okay, so if it's red, green, and pink... Uh, they're all weak to ice. So let's go after red. And let's see. I'm thinking if I, w I still want to use snowy or not. Hmm. Nah, I don't think so. We'll be fine. But I do want to take out pink there before she can use some status effects on us. So, alright. Easy enough. Kind of hard to tell which one's which when they're all grayscale like that. Alright, and you have to take care of those power ranges there. Another level for Mallow there, so... Oh, uh, yeah, we want to go for magic on this level up, actually. Oh, nice. Doing pretty good there, Gina. Alright, killed a couple more of those guys. Wow, I might actually hit max level by the end of this. But anyway, okay, so 29. Last magic boost for you. Man, these guys give pretty good experience. Yeah, watch out. More of those boyers can spawn there. But can we withstand Smithy's Boss Gauntlet of Doom? Find out next time on Let's Play Super Mario RPG! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!